A while ago I did a video on why I run my wheel bearings in oil and not grease, and it was rather controversial. Well, the time has come to open up these bearings and see how they are, having been run in oil. Here at Mad Mat 4 Drive, I'm all about educating and building the four-wheel drive community. So, it was a bit over a year ago that I posted the video, and at the time I'd been running these very wheel bearings for quite some time. Now, I haven't looked at these bearings since then, and I've done a whole heap of four-wheel driving, I've done a lot of towing, I've done a lot of heavy work. If I was running grease, I'm pretty sure that these bearings would be nigh on toast. They'll certainly be showing signs of, of having suffered. Right now, I'm going to open these up and we're going to see what the condition of these bearings is. All right, now one of the comments that a lot of people said is, if you run them in oil, the oil's going to leak out all on top of the handbrake shoes. <gasps> what a disaster! Guys, it's a Land Cruiser. The handbrake's useless anyway, so it wouldn't matter. But anyway, there is no oil leaking out of the seal in the back of the hub there. That seal is keeping the oil inside the hub just as it would. But you've got to watch that first video to see how I achieve that. But I've also got another little trick that I'm going to show you in this video to do with that seal. Anyway, let's open this up and see. Now I've taken the locking washer out so we can do this easy and quickly. All right, out she comes. Well, that looks good. Let's have a look here. Here's the story. Well, look at that. To me, that bearing looks absolutely brand new. Now you have to take my word for it. I have done a lot of work with these bearings. They have carried some huge loads and done a lot of four driving. They've been exposed to probably a bit of oil and water and stuff like that because the other day my axle studs broke and I was out in the mud. And uh, so we would have got a bit of nasties going on there. But hey, that bearing is absolutely pristine, which is honestly no surprise to me. I expected that because running your bearings in oil is always going to be far better than running them in grease because the oil is a better lubricant. Anyway, if you want to find out how to do that, you'll have to watch the other video which we've linked in above. Now, what's this upgrade that I'm about to do? Well, the boys at Terrain Tamer, they do help me out with some of my parts supply and stuff like that, but even if they didn't, to be honest, I'd be down there buying the stuff anyway, because I reckon they, uh, they do some pretty cool stuff. This is their new heavy duty hub seal that they've developed for a bunch of different vehicles that have this type of requirement. So basically, because that's all dirty, I won't show you in that hub, but here in this hub here, um, this seal sits down in the back here, and it's basically the last barrier to keep oil in and keep mud and all of the grime out of your wheel bearings. Now, what's so cool about it? Well, it's basically a fully contained seal. This inside lip here is going to seal on this seal face. So even if this seal face is damaged, this seal is going to work. And then it's got the outer rubberized section here, which is going to seal on this inside section of the hub. And the actual seal is inside the middle here. So this actually can rotate within itself. Isn't that a fantastic idea? I absolutely love it. I've never run these before. They've just told me about them. And I'm like, I'll have those. I'm putting them in there. So if any of you guys watched that first video I've been talking about, and you were concerned about the oil leaking onto your handbrake shoes, which don't work, that seal there is going to solve the problem, I reckon. So that should put your mind at ease. How's that? I'm Mad Matt. Stay safe on the trails.